What's up guys, Mark from MJ Games, hope you're all doing well. Guys, we are back today with another bumper selection of Crown Zenith products for our round three. First two videos have done extremely well, and today we are chasing big time the gold cards from Pokemon Crown Zenith. We've got four in particular, there's the Dialga, Palkia, Arceus, and also the Giratina, which is the biggest card out of all four. And today we are going stacked. First off, we have this beautiful Regidrago V box it comes with four packs, one oversized promo, and also two promo cards at the bottom there. We are then going super size with this shiny Zacian box that comes stacked with 11 packs. That beautiful shiny Zacian figure, the pin, the card, and some sleeves. And then last but not least, we can't do Zacian without the shiny Zamazenta box as well. Same thing, 11 packs. Overall guys, today we've got 26 packs and we're going in hard. So let's crack these boxes and show what's inside. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look what you get inside these boxes. So first and foremost, you get this beautiful Regidrago Black Star promo and the oversized version as well. And also this Evolving Skies uh, Regilecki, which has a slightly different hollow pattern on it. So that'd be nice to add to the binder for Evolving Skies for anyone who is collecting that. You get your four packs. But guys, it's these two that make up the difference. Each comes with 11 packs, sleeves, the shiny cards, the figures as well. So just quickly show you, that is the Zacian one with the sword and then Zamazenta with the shield. And then you get the correspond pins and shiny card as well. So guys, through the magic of editing, I'm gonna click my fingers and the next scene you're gonna see is everything out on the desktop. Let's go. Boom, and just like that, everything is there. So first and foremost, guys, want to tell you we are giving everything away today in regards to the promos not the cards but the promos so the two statues the two pins as well which are absolutely stunning we are also giving away the sleeves the two promo cards at the back there those are going to be given away to one lucky person all you've got to do guys is literally first and foremost make sure you subscribe to the channel also make sure you hit the bell notification and also let's give this video over 100 likes if we can hit that little thumbs up icon guys and just comment down below what you think is going to be the best pull from this video and we will choose one lucky winner in a couple of weeks nice and easy guys but also another big mention guys i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far we're on the road to 1200 it's been absolutely phenomenal been producing content on a daily basis in regards to shorts getting more videos out and it's been a positive response so thank you so so much also guys just want a big shout out to my friend leo as well who is a fellow streamer know him through isabel at Ori newcastle please first and foremost guys go give leo a big follow on youtube he's on 982 subscribers doing an amazing job he's just a young kid absolutely in love with pokemon and he produces some amazing content so guys go give him a follow his details are down below his channel is lightning collectibles with the eye in lightning is a number one go give him a follow give him a follow on also instagram as well under the same tag lightning collectibles and also more importantly guys go follow me on instagram as well it's just mjs toys and games and also aurea.newcastle as well guys absolutely lovely lady helps me out so much in regards to product and single cards etc go and give them a big follow i know you will go over and love their content that they produce on a daily basis if not every other day guys so please go and follow okay so we now have 26 packs guys in two stacks here so we are chasing a gold card out of all our videos so far we've not pulled a single gold so we are after some cracking hits today if we can remember in the set we've got the uncommons commons the hollows etc but the big ones that you want to chase is the galarian gallery cards the trainer cards and also the big mewtwo v star is i think the second or third largest card in the set but it's also the gold cards that we want specifically so can we pull one today put your guesses down below guys so let's go so you may see there is a new backdrop there as well guys that is all for whatnot i've put some light up around these are all etb boxes the uh, little black inserts of the et boxes as you can see i've already got some of the shiny zacian zamzen and bot um figures there and some of the pins over there as well so it's just to add a bit more um character and a bit more lighting 
um, and atmosphere is the word I was looking for for the channel. So guys, if you're not on whatnot yet, or you are and you don't follow me on there, go hit me up. It's just MGS Games, just as that shows. And uh, it'll be great to have you when I'm streaming. I stream four times a week, uh, minimum. So please go hit me up. So let's start off. We've got the first pack here, guys. Let's get some fire. Got Croc Rock, Lunatone, Sol Rock, Switch, Snorrod, Larvester, Tangler, Baltoy. Oh, beautiful start in with the Latius Trainer Gallery, uh, Galarian Gallery card. I absolutely love that card, guys. Just literally flying through some clotheslines. Just wondering what the heck's going on. I don't know if it's been chased or something by another Pokemon. That just reminds me of the cartoons of the old days where Tom and Jerry used to run through clotheslines and end up with clothes all over them. Absolutely stunning card. So what a hit for the start. So put that to the side. Let's alternate to the other side now. Like I say, if guys you are collecting this, you know, drop a message down below. How have your pulls been recently? Uh, it'd be nice to actually hear what you have pulled from or need for your set. Um, even if you finish the set, fantastic, well done to you. I'm actually quite close to the main set, um, but do still need quite a few of the Galarian Gallery cards. So let's see if we can pull any more. We've got Pornyard, Bidoof, Potion, Giraffric, or oh, the little cheeky squirrel himself, Greedon himself that is a nice little ad do already have that that's not a problem any pulls we can get guys there is above a v is a much much welcome addition i can always use the cards to trade for cards that i need as well and i do mention about trading quite a lot guys so we will have our video coming out very, very shortly, which is discussing about how to trade cards to get cards that you need to finish set, etc. So it's going to be a great series. Oh, there we go. We are three for three at the minute. We've got a Dusk Skull, which also comes from the Galarian Gallery. You can tell because it says GG down the bottom. So that is a very nice card there as well. There's actually in the Japanese V-Star, certain cards like this only come from a... Uh, what's called a god pack which is the only one that you can get the pikachu from so the pikachu has like the leaf um looks like it's kind of uh using it as a bit of an umbrella to break its fall from jumping from a tree or something um but guys when they all together create a lovely artwork so let's go in this pack what can we pull from this one uh four from the back and i know you see all the stock here guys that is all for whatnot um do my 2k celebration tomorrow um, but I am streaming today as well on Bank Holiday Monday here in the UK. So hopefully, as this video won't come out until next week, you guys have all had a lovely Bank Holiday weekend. We've got Bidoof, Larvester, oh, Volcanion Hollow. Nothing in that one just yet. Let's go, come on. Loving this so far. Three pulls from four packs. This is what I love about Crown Zenith, guys. There is just so, so many opportunities here to pull some fire. And it is absolutely phenomenal. So let's go. We've got Energy, Gloom, Crushing Hammer, Love Disc, Amolga, Yanma, Pornyard, Cricket Top. Oh my god, no! We pull the gold. We've got the gold Arceus V Star. Oh my god. The first gold on the channel for Crown Zenith. And we've got it. What a absolute beauty. That is stunning, guys. What do you think? That is what I'm talking about, guys. God knows how many packs we have opened so far. But to get this, that is absolutely phenomenal. That is going in, in a top loader. Let's go. That is absolutely stunning. I've only actually got one other gold card, guys. And that is actually the Palkia um, that I pulled in between um, January and restarting doing videos. But... Wow, I have seen this artwork, but I've never held one or pulled it. That is absolutely stunning, guys. Unfortunately, slightly off left to right, as you can see on the back there. And that will bring it down in grading. But still, what a beautiful card. That is just absolutely gorgeous. That is going at the back. So, guys, I think that was fifth pack in, and we've pulled that. That is absolutely stunning. Let's go. Let's get some more fire, shall we? There we go. I've noticed as well with the uh, packs recently as well that they seem like more plasticky as well. So they seem a bit harder to open. 
I don't know if um, Pokemon have made them more kind of like recyclable, which I'm a huge fan of, um, if that's the case. So well done to them if they are. Oh, what's that? Drag? Drag Ulch. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Guys, the artworks on these are just absolutely stunning. And remember the last set from Sword and Shield for the last era before it moved to Scarlet and Violet. So definitely something I would highly recommend to everyone to go and pick up if you can. Yeah, some huge chase cards in here. But look at that. Arcee is sitting on top of a mountain from the looks of it. That is absolutely beautiful. So you've got Shaman, Crushing Hammer, Carnivine, Cherubi, Youngus, Riolu, Scyther. Oh, I thought that was a goal. Oh, we are in with a full art Volo Trainer. Oh my God, I've not pulled this one either. That is beautiful. Beautifully centered. And that is definitely going in the collection. That will definitely get added to the binder after this, guys. Oh, wow. That is one of the big cards that I need from the main set. As I say, you can tell it's from the main set, guys, because down there it doesn't have the GG on it for Galarian Gallery. So it's 151 out 159, and that is one that I do need. So that is definitely getting added. Oh, I can't remember what side we're going from now. We're getting pulls left, right, and center here. That is phenomenal. Let's go. Let's keep going. Guys, if you said we were pulling the gold already on guesses, you're doing absolutely fantastic. Let's go. Can we get a Giratina, though? That is the big chase. Or even the Mewtwo V-Star. I would be over the moon with that. Truby, Lipod, non hollow. And so, yeah, guys, like I was saying, we have been smashing the followers and subscribers recently, both on Whatnot and here. We're now at 2,300 on Whatnot, which is phenomenal. Now we're on nearly 1,200 on youtube as well so thank you so so much for your very kind support and yeah guys you got oh wow the fire reverse hollow i forget about that they actually do the reverse hollows they've also got the textured um energies as well and this is one that i need as well so that's definitely getting added um but yeah we've been i've been putting out more content on a daily basis um just in shorts and that has really, really boosted the numbers. Just yesterday alone on Sunday um, of Bank Holiday Weekend, I had 27 new subscribers, guys. And they're actually all from USA and Canada. So thank you to those people. You know, I really, really appreciate your support. And I just hope that we can build an amazing community here. All I want to do is give back to you guys. So thank you so much. So let's go. We've got Fire, Gloom, Great Ball, Graveler, Aaron, Corpish, Energy, Scyther, Rioli, oh, in with the metal reverse energy as well. That is a stunner. You can see my reflection in there. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> so that will go to the back as well. Let's keep going. Let's get the pulls, guys. Let's go. Next up. Don't know how many packs we've gone through now, but guys, the pulls are stacking. Let's go. This is what I love about the set, guys. If you have not yet gone out to get it, do so. They're very, very hard to come by now. Um, they are getting more expensive per pack. And remember, it was a holiday set as well. So we've got the reverse Hollow Mewtwo with that beautiful artwork, NG Ball in its hand, and then Luxray. But yeah, it was a holiday set from last year. So definitely please make sure you go out and you can benefit from these beautiful artworks as well, guys. All right, let's go. Next pack up. We've got Fighting Energy, Giraffic, Pinchurchin, Pokemon, Tangler, Larvasa, Snorunt, Switch, Pancham, Snorlax. Oh, the Walmation Snorlax, one of my favorite artworks of Snorlax from the Sword and Shield era. Come on, can we get some other big pulls? You do have also the alt art, um, Galarian Galleries you can get as well, guys. Like Zacian and Zamazenta, funny enough. Um, just beautiful artworks. It looks like that they're in temples. Um, which goes to the game itself. So I love what Pokemon have done recently in regards to that as well. So we've got Rockruff, Purloin, Love Disc, Helioptile, and Snorlax. Oh, we're getting to the non-hits now. Come on, guys. Can we get some more? Let's go. Yeah, guys, like I said, let's try and get this video to 100 likes. Just hit that thumbs up icon. Um, and if you are a new subscriber, welcome, guys. Um, oh, my God. Out of the blue, we get the Galarian Gallery Entai. 
Guys, this is one of the nicest alt artworks that you can get from the set. Anti-V, you can get the Suicune, the Glaceon, literally the three dogs, uh, what is it? It's anti Suicune. I can't remember, Raikou. Um, and they are all absolutely stunning, but this is by far my favorite. Being a big fan of fire Pokemon, that, wow. And that is needed for the binder as well. I've got the other two. This was the one that I needed. Lady Luck is smiling on us today, guys. That is just beautiful. That goes to the back there. Just put it to the right, left of Volo. Wow, what a hit. Let's move these out of the way. Nothing behind us. You guys, this is what I'm saying. Like, four, well, at least three massive hits so far. There's still plenty of packs to go. So definitely go out, get yourself these guys. They are a little bit costly, but the fact that you get those promos, the little figures, the statues themselves are starting to go really nicely on eBay. They sell for around, I can sell the Zamazenta figure, the pin, a pack of sleeves and the card for 15 pound each. So that just goes to show how collectible they are. People don't want to spend, you know, the 50 to 60 pound each on the boxes. Um, some people, you know, they just collect the figures. So yeah, definitely go out and treat yourself, guys, if you can. Smiths, WH Smith, um, other toy stores should have them in. If not, Pokemon Center website does. So we've got Aaron, Riolu, Lycanroc in a non-hollow Luxray. Let's go to the left. Let's go. Sorry I'm not giving the code cards, guys, but I am giving them to a couple of friends who kids do play the uh, Pokemon Go um, and also the online game. So they will be given to those. Let's go. Come on, Yanma. Pokemon Catcher. Oh, Snorlax, non hollow. It's all good. All good. We've still got about eight or nine packs left. So let's see if we can get any more big pulls. Those who have put the guesses down below, I will be having a look. Um, to see what you think, please don't skip ahead. It does ruin it, guys. We've got Croc Rock, Scyther, Riolu. Oh, 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 what we got here? Oh, Turtwig from the same Galarian Gallery set as the Duskull earlier. Like I say, you can get Pikachu, you can get Riolu as well. There's the one of the cutest is Paris, you know, just the cute little Paris himself. Um, but here we've got Turtwig and we've got Duskull so far from there. Uh, where do we go? Let's go to the right. Code card out. Oh, we've got a V card here. Replace an engine. Move that to the side. So we've got Luxio, Rescue, Electric, Amalga, Yungus, Cherubi, Execute, Rockruff, Sizor. Oh, the Regigigas V. So we do get another V there. Beautiful artworks on these cards. Pokemon have definitely gone above and beyond recently with their new artworks on their cards, especially Obsidian Flames, which I'm happy to say I have actually completed Obsidian Flames. Um, but guys, the artworks in that are just absolutely out of this world. They really are. I wish you all the best of luck if you are collecting Obsidian Flames at the moment. I do have some spares, so if there is any in particular that you need, um, just give me a message down below, um, or you can email me as well on MJS toysandgames at gmail.com oh there we go we get a double hitter with that cute little paris in there as well and the Rayquaza v look at those little eyes that's almost like apollo my husky looking at me going can i have another carrot um better not say it too loud because you might actually come running in looking for the carrot and there we go we've got that absolutely stunning little Rayquaza v as well so guys, our next video is going to be an absolute banger as well. We're going to be playing off two Scarlet and Violet sets um, to see what the best pulls are. So that will be the uh, the Scarlet and Violet base set and Paldea. Two bigger sets. Obviously, Obsidian isn't as big of those, which is why it's complete already for myself. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what is the best for pull rates. So we've got Coughing. Oh, no! Guys, I'm so sorry. Two double hitters in the space of a couple of packs. We've got Mew, that beautiful Disney artwork style. 
To me, that just kind of reminds me of Sleeping Beauty in the woods. But we've got Mew there surrounded by the Ponyta, the Cramorant, Nidoran at the front, your Barracuda. That is just beautiful. And then we get the Regigigas V-Star as well. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Double hitters. Big, big double hitters in these packs. That is stunning. That is beautiful. And then we've got the Regigigas. We've done the double today on Regigigas, the V and V-Star now. So that gets added to the back. So we've only got, I think, about five or six packs left now. Round to the back. We've got Psychic, Gloom, Great Ball, Trekking, Gribbeth, Scralp, Wooloo, Helioptile, Pancham, Trekking, and the Kyogre V as well now. We're getting the Vs adding up here. Guys, this is stunning, the amount of hits. 26 packs in all, and we're going to have a quick recap afterwards to see what we've actually pulled, what the numbers are. But this is what I'm saying. Crown Zenith is renowned for really, really good pull rates. We've got Girafrig, Pinchurchin, Rescue, Amolga, Love Disc, Chatot, Yanma, Pornyard, Lovesta, Sizor Non Hollow. Right, we've got three packs left. Come on. Can we get another big Galarian Gallery or another gold? Come on, let's go. So Psychic, Luna, Rescue, Salazzle. Sorry guys, just try and center a bit more. Chatot, Yanma, Pornyard. We've got Bidoof. Oops, drop the cards now. We've got Potion, Lunatur. Oh, we've got to get a Charizard. Obviously, in the set, there's only the two the Charizard V and Charizard V. No, three. Charizard V, Star Charizard V, and also the Radiant as well. But pulling the Charizard V has to be one of the nicest artworks for the Vs in the set. Like, come on, it's just a Charizard. What else do you have to say? Well, we'll be doing a quick recap after this, guys, so don't worry. We'll have a closer look at all the hits today. So we've got Lost Vacuum, Oddish, Salandit, Search, Grubbin, Skrelp, Manafi! Oh! One of the beautiful artworks from the Galarian Gallery again. Just floating in the water, having a nice time. Pokemon just having a look to see what's going on. Oh, that is so nice. I love the depth of the colors to make it look like certain parts of the, the pond or lake are deeper. But guys, look at that. There's a couple of pin churchins on the side as well. That is beautiful. Right, last pack. Let's go. Last pack magic, guys. Come on. I hope all those who are watching and have put the guesses down below wonder what you've said. Let's go. Come on. Can we get last pack magic? Rescue Carrier, Slazzle, Carnivine, Seal, Potion, Aaron. Corpish and no <laughs> double hitter at the end. We've got the Dark Rai V Star and the Radiant Charizard. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The Radiant Charizard, but that Dark Rai I have only ever pulled once before. You know, it was for somebody else and whatnot. It is such a hot card to get but also one of the most valuable i think it's around 25 to 30 pounds for that card but guys look at that wow i am literally shaking another double hit i think that's three we've had today but to come out with a radiant charizard and also the dark rye that is just unbelievable put that to the back put the charizard into a sleeve as well I am going to put these straight into the binder, but wow, what an opening, guys. So just to quickly recap, guys, we've got the two energies, the metal and the fire reverse hollow. We've got Charizard, Radiant Charizard, Kyogre V, Regigigas V Star, that beautiful Mew Galarian Gallery, Rayquaza V, Regigigas V, Manafi, Paris, Turtwig, the Duskull, the Greedent V, Latius, that absolutely stunning Dark Rye V Star, Volo Trainer, that like Chef's Kiss anti V artwork, and then the Pierce de Resistance, the Arceus Gold 
card. What can I say, guys? Three absolutely stunning pulls that we were so lucky to get today from Crown Zenith. We've got the Dark Rye, we've got the Anti, and then the Pierce de Resistance, the best pull, the Arceus V Star from the Gold Collection, guys. Like, this is what I'm saying Crown Zenith is just renowned for hits. Double hits. We've had people on our whatnot streams who have hit literally three or four packs, double hits every single time. And we've even pulled two golds in one stream before as well um, for two different people. But that is just what Crown Zenith is all about. They are hard to pull. But the one that I'm massively after is our Giratina. I've never ever pulled it. Only seen somebody else pull it for somebody else. So guys, I think we will be going to around four, four Crown Zenith. And I think I might just be literally getting as many packs as we can. Remember, they did not come out in Booster Box. It was a holiday set. So I think maybe next time we will be going for our own homemade MJS Games Booster Box of Crown Zenith and seeing what we get. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. Remember, if you are new, you're welcome. Hit that subscribe button, hit the follow bell notification, and let's get this video to 100 likes. But guys, until next time, happy gaming. Bye-bye.